Steve Poland here, and a couple of weeks ago my buddy John and I made a trip up to see the best African cichlid breeder in central Ohio, Jerry Delaney. Now he lives up in Marion, which is a little over an hour for me, but it's always worth the drive. Here's a little bit of what we saw. Jerry's garage looks normal from the outside, but once you go in you realize it's a fully functioning breeding operation. But what stands out immediately is the quality of the fish. I mean, look at that flame tail peacock. My goodness. Now, a couple of things to note before we get into this. We didn't warn Jerry that I was coming to film, and he has a ton of projects going on, so please keep that in mind. Also, the lighting in his room is set up to sell fish, not to shoot video. So I apologize for the glare. Now, you would think that this was the best looking flame tail in the place, but I'm not so sure about that. This one may look even better. And this one is nice too. Or maybe you wanted an albino flame tail. I mean, look at these guys. If you're not into flame tails, maybe you'll like these F1 Benga Sunshines. Or if you prefer Malari, he's got those too. Lots of other peacocks here as well, like this really nice Lawanda. A Eureka Red that was just on fire. And some good looking fluorescents that unfortunately didn't want to be filmed. If you're into more rare fish, he's got these Alnacara Aquilonium, which I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else. And of course, one of the most sought after rare peacocks, the Turkis. And as if the albino flame tails weren't cool enough, he also had these albino Eureka Reds that just blew my mind. If peacocks aren't your thing, Jerry has a lot of nice haps as well. Here are some great Dimidiochromis compressiceps, also known as the Malawi eye biter. If you're into Phosphorochromis rostratus, he's got you covered there as well. One group I really enjoyed seeing was these Copetochromis virginalis gold. Just a really nice fish. He's also got great Xerox, which I obviously love. But my favorite fish in the whole place are probably his star sapphires. This one is the brother of the one I've been growing out, and I can't wait until mine looks like this. There's just tons of stuff to see at Jerry's. He's got lots of Frontosa and other Tanganyikans. Some really nice Cynodonis catfish. And babies everywhere. If you're anywhere near central Ohio, I highly recommend buying fish from Jerry. You can reach him through the African Cichlid Breeders group on Facebook, or reach out to me and I can put you in touch. Until next time, have a good one everybody.